Hey everyone, it's Leela from Miss Kiss Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how I created this Galaxy Tumblr. Um, it has some glitter on here as well, so Glitter Galaxy Tumblr. I'm gonna go ahead and go over some materials that uh, you will need and then we'll go ahead and get started. Before I go over all the materials that you'll be needing, I do wanna give credit to this video. Um, I did see this technique from Little Lee and Rose. She is also on YouTube. So I'll go ahead and place her video in my description below if you wanna go ahead and watch that after mine. But I did see this technique on her channel and uh, this is my own way of doing it. We just do it just a little bit differently. So today I'm gonna to be working with a 30 ounce hog and I did purchase this from the Stainless Steel um, Depot. That is a website. I'll go ahead and link that uh, website in my description below. I did wipe this down with 91% alcohol. If you do wanna know how to, um, more details on how to prep your tumblers, I do have a video on my YouTube channel. You're gonna need white and black spray paint. Um, I, it doesn't really matter to me if it's gloss or matte for this one. I just grabbed any white or black spray paint, so. Um, I have black satin and then I actually have gloss white and then you're need then you're going to need alcohol ink I like making this one purple and black um, But if you want it more galaxy like you can go ahead and add greens purples pinks blues uh, Go ahead and have fun with this uh, tumbler um, the one that I have an order for for it actually um, is going to resemble my personal tumbler so she wants it just as as it uh, is so have fun with this one add yellow add orange add reds um, be as creative as you like and then you're gonna need some makeup uh, sponges I reuse my sponges um, so this is completely dried and then sometimes I have newer ones and I also cut my sponges in half so I try to get the most out of them as you can see as I can um, and then I have my 91% alcohol I just put this inside of a squirt bottle that I bought from um, Amazon. I think this is actually a, um, a makeup squirt bottle. So if you type in makeup squirt bottle, I'm sure some will pop up. Um, like every video, I do recommend you wearing your gloves while working with um, spray paint, alcohol ink, epoxy. Um, and of course, after this, you are going to be needing epoxy. I do... Um, I do use amazing Clearcast epoxy. I've always used it. I love it. And um, you'll also need some glitter. So the first thing you're wanting to do is, um, the first thing that I do is wipe it down with my 91% alcohol. I do not sand any of my tumblers. Um, I know some people do, some people don't. I am one of the few who don't. I've never had a problem with it. Um, so what you're going to be doing first is you're gonna wanna spray paint this tumbler black and white. Now, um, this is all according to what you're wanting your tumbler to look like. So what you do is you randomly spray paint this tumbler black and white all over the tumbler. So for instance, this tumbler is very purple. So all of the purple spots, that's where all of my white spray paint spots are. So if you want more purple spots than you do um, darker black spots, make sure you spray paint it more white. So if you see here, it's more white. If you want more darker areas like here, make sure you spray paint your tumbler more black. So I'm gonna go ahead and just spray one coat of this on black and then um, I'll return to the video. All right, so I spray painted the entire tumbler black. As you can see, um, it needs to dry a little bit more. Don't worry about any drips you have um, like you see on mine. The more textures on this tumbler, the better. So don't worry if you're a bad spray painter or um, if you're doing this in the dark like I am, um, it's okay if your tumbler drips. Um, it, it will not be an imperfection. It, it will only add to, um, to the tumbler. So um, after this is completely dried the black, this is when I take my white. And all I'm gonna do is spray spots of white all over the tumbler. Now again, if you want more of a vibrant tumbler, make sure you spray more um, spots or rows of white on the tumbler. If you want more of a dark theme, um, just spray little spritz of white everywhere. So I will be back with that. All right, y'all, I'm back with my painted tumbler. Um, I did turn off my over lights just so y'all can see this specific part because um, the, the light was washing out the white. But if you can tell, I went ahead and I just took my spray paint and I just sprayed spots around the tumbler randomly. Don't forget the bottom. 
And um, I actually went to go touch it and that's the spot where that was my test, uh, my test spot, but that's fine because it's just gonna give it more character. All right, now we're going to uh, apply the alcohol ink with the um, makeup brushes or makeup sponges that I have. Um, anywhere, anyone wondering where to get makeup brushes, um, Amazon, Walmart, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, uh, CVS, Walgreens it is a makeup sponge that uh, people use to put, apply makeup on their face. It's a squishy little sponge. Um, so I'm gonna start with my purple and I'm just gonna um, drip purple on my makeup sponge here. That was a lot. And then I'm just gonna dab. I'm just gonna dab all over the tumbler. And I usually, let's see, this is how I usually apply. I always have my football arm inside of my tumbler and it just, it helps me have more control over the tumbler. So I'm just gonna dab random spots of the purple all over the tumbler and then when I'm, I feel like that's enough purple, I'll go ahead and take my black and then I'll, um, I will apply that. So I'm gonna speed up this part for you so this video can go quickly. And like I said, you're just applying the alcohol ink onto the wedge or the makeup brush or sponge and then dabbing it on the tumbler. All right, this is how it looks so far. I know, not pretty, but um, whenever you are doing this, keep in mind, dab this everywhere, blot your uh, purple or your colors everywhere. You see how I put it on the black. I know you think you think it's silly to put purple over black, but um, it's gonna matter whenever you apply your epoxy. So now that I have my purple uh, laid, I'm gonna go ahead and move to my black, and then I'm gonna do the same thing. Now this is really fun if you have like multiple colors. Um, this is only my purple and black ones, so like if you like go in with like blues right now, um, and then greens or pinks, it would be. I mean, it's gonna be great with just the purple and the black as you can see, but have fun with this. Add all the colors you want to this. This is gonna be beautiful at the end. All right, so I went ahead and I added my black ink to my makeup sponge, my makeup wedge. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and randomly blot the tumbler with my black. Um, everyone wondering what, um, I'm so sorry I didn't go over this in the beginning. Um, everyone who is watching is wanting to, wanting to know probably what colors I'm using. I'm using Tim Holtz. The black is pitch black. And then the purple is twilight purple. Both by Tim Holtz. I did order this from Amazon. I've also purchased them for Michael's, uh, Joann's, Hobby Lobby. Um, I think that's about it. So um, I will go ahead and link those colors in the description. But um, I do also use other brands um, I think this is Bray Reese. I can never pronounce this. Bray Reese. And then uh, Pinata, I, I also use. Again, you could purchase them at uh, Joann's, Walmart, Target, um, Joann's, Michael's, Amazon. So I'm going, I'm uh, going through the tumbler and I'm just randomly blotting this tumbler with my black. And as you can see, it looks like a hot mess, but don't worry, keep going. <laughs> And I'm just going over the purple as well, so I'm I'm not even think, I'm not even thinking about where I'm putting my alcohol ink. I'm just applying it on my wedge and then I'm blotting it on. So don't overthink this; it's okay. Um, it's a galaxy tumbler, and the galaxy is random. And it's kind of cool how my oversprayed. You see how I oversprayed that, or my overspray from the bottom of my um, spray paint can got onto that tumbler, so it kind of worked out. So now I'm gonna take my purple, and there's a lot of harsh lines there. I'm just gonna dab, or I'm just gonna um, put a little bit of my alcohol ink on my purple wedge, and then I'm just gonna um, just go over just a little bit more with purple. 
just to kind of blend it out just a little bit. Um, it's not gonna really blend too well, but that's okay. The next step, I will show y'all um, how it gets blended out here soon. So this is a part where you start overthinking and um, <laughs> you start dabbing or blotting everywhere around the tumbler. So don't overthink it. Just make sure um, you're happy with the coverage. Make sure it's fully covered. And then we'll go ahead and um, move on to the next step. So even though my tumbler is painted black, um, I still like to have um, a full coverage of alcohol ink all over my tumbler. So I, if I notice any spots where I don't have any alcohol inks on it, um, I just take either color and I just blot it over the area. I don't know why, but I just prefer it that way. I don't know if it makes a difference, but um, I guess it's just one of those things that I just like to do. Here is the tumbler so far. A lot of harsh lines, but it's okay. We're gonna go ahead and fix that right now. So now you're gonna take a um, an unused or a wedge that's only used for your alcohol, and you're just gonna put alcohol on the wedge. You're 91% alcohol. And then you're gonna go ahead and just dab that onto the tumbler. And this is gonna take away the harsh lines. Whenever you blot this on, it's gonna take those, uh, like right here. You see it took that away. So this one right here, it might be dry now. It took that harsh line away. And this is the effect that you're gonna start getting for the galaxy look. So you're gonna repeat this process. Oops, sorry. You're gonna repeat this process until you're happy um, with the look that you want. And you just do the, the same thing over and over again. So again, I'm gonna speed up this, this step for you and then we'll be back. So as you can see, the galaxy effect is starting to um, really show here. Now, if you're not satisfied with some spots on the tumbler, um, like if some areas are a little bit too white for you, you can go ahead and apply alcohol ink to your purple or to any color you're using and then blot it over the area where you uh, feel like it's needed and then go ahead and um, go ahead and take out those harsh lines with your 91% alcohol. Now what I like to do is um, I spritz my alcohol onto my tumbler a little bit. So I, I uh, put it about five inches away of my tumbler and I kind of spray it onto my tumbler. Not kind of, I do. <laughs> and then it just makes a cooler kind of um, more random effect on the tumbler. So you see right there, if the light didn't wash that out. Um, so I just do that until I'm happy with the effect. And then I spray the bottom. You see what it did there to the bottom? You see all those little dots on the bottom? That's the alcohol ink spritzing onto um, the tumbler. So it makes a, a cool design. So you can see that looks really cool right there. So all those dots are what is a, of what I sprayed onto um, the tumbler with alcohol ink. So look at this. Love how it turned out. Let me turn off my overhead light. All right, here you go. So this is the tumbler so far. Now, a lot of y'all who work with alcohol ink know how quickly alcohol ink dries. It's already dried. So um, it's awesome. So here it is so far, and you can see what I was talking about, the white spots. Everywhere you see here is the white, the white spray paint. 
Um, now on camera, it's not catching it, but there's a lot of purple that you can still see on the, on the black. Um, but it really pops on the white spray paint. Now I'm gonna take my Krylon Crystal Clear acrylic coating and um, spray a couple uh, sprays on here. I'm gonna give it full coverage, so I'm gonna spray it um, one time around, and then the same session, I'm gonna spray it again. So I'm just gonna do two uh, coats of this, and anytime you're working with alcohol ink, uh, this is what I use um, to uh, seal the alcohol ink before I apply my epoxy. Anytime I work with glitter, this is also um, what I use. This is the only acrylic coating that I um, that I use whenever I work with my tumblers. So I'm going to go ahead and spray two coats of that, and then I'm going to let this sit for about 45 minutes, and then we'll go ahead and apply the epoxy and the glitter. All right, everybody, I'm back, and I have my cup on the turner. It has been um, sitting for 45 minutes. It is completely dried and the, um, the alcohol ink is um, sealed with the acrylic coating. So I did mix my epoxy off camera. Um, this is a 30 ounce, so you're probably just going to need um, probably uh, 10 mLs um, total of epoxy. I'm doing a batch, so I am doing other cups, but probably about 10 mLs. So you don't want this coat to be a flood coat because you're going to apply a coat of epoxy and then you're gonna let it cure and then you're probably gonna to wanna to add a decal and then after the decal, that's whenever you'll apply the flood coat. So um, we're gonna go ahead and just apply this epoxy on this tumbler and like I say in most of my videos, it doesn't matter um, which way you apply the epoxy. Whoops, I'm trying to get it on camera. I usually have it going the other way. Um, so I just pour it on and then I kind of take my gloved finger and then I pull down to the bottom of the tumbler. So I make sure that I have a even coat of epoxy on the tumbler. So I am a little rough with my tumbler. I do press down hard, so I do pull down on the football or the tumbler. So sometimes my tumbler does like fall off. Let me push it back on. No, it falls off the football or it does get uneven, but whenever I'm done applying the epoxy at the end, I make sure it is completely even. So make sure you're getting the bottom. And what I do is to get the bottom, I just um, put a heavy coat, coat of epoxy, I pour it on, and then I drag it down to the bottom. That way I don't really waste it. It doesn't really drip as much. Still drips, but not as much. So you just wanna do an even coat of this and whenever you apply the epoxy, you can really see the detail. The detail really starts to pop. The little, uh, the little specks of the spray paint and the purple and the black um, alcohol link mix. So it, it is really important to, um, to kind of cover the whole entire tumbler with your design. All right, so now that I have all of my tumbler completely covered I'm gonna go ahead and do my rim and for everybody who follows me I'm sure you've seen my rim video how you always have a clean rim I usually don't have it going this way so this is kind of hard for me so if you do want to see that go back to my YouTube channel make sure you watch that it's how to always have a clean rim on your tumbler has never failed me So I'm just making sure that this coat of epoxy is even. It's a little thicker than, than what I uh, wanted, but it's okay because uh, I have plenty of epoxy left here. I have a very heavy hand when it comes to doing anything. So I poured a lot of epoxy on here. Right, and then once it's spinning, I take off my glove and I go ahead and I hit it with the heat gun. This is very important um, step to do because a heat gun will pop all the little bubbles inside of your epoxy. So I'm about um, five inches away from the tumbler. I have a Wagner heat gun and I make sure I put it on high and then I go uh, back and forth very quickly on the tumbler.
And then since I hit it with a heat gun for a good amount of time, um, if you can, if you notice, it, it was a good amount of time that I hit it with a heat gun. Um, the epoxy does thin out. So what I always do is I always put my glove back on and then I do, I take my pointer finger or any finger I have and I just scrape the bottom of the tumbler as it goes around. And that's all the excess uh, epoxy that's on the, the bottom. So if you have problems with the bottom of your tumbler uh, being uh, uneven, that's probably what's happening. You're probably applying the heat gun um, to the tumbler and then, or your tumbler is slanted a little bit, which probably applying the heat to the tumbler, the, the epoxy is getting thin and then it's rolling down to the bottom. So I make sure to have a very, very thin coat of epoxy on the bottom of my tumblers always. So once this has been uh, spinning, I go ahead and I take my glitter. So the glitter I'll be using today is from Glitter Heart Company. Y'all know how much I love this company. It is Sour Apple. It's kind of a green hollow. And this is uh, more randomness on the tumbler. There's no rhyme or reason for this. So I just pour some inside of my cap here, or you could pour it inside of a Dixie cup. Look how pretty that, uh, that is. Make sure your cap is close. <laughs> And then I just pinch it like I'm pinching salt. And then I just um, sprinkle it on. So I kind of like doing um, like bands of glitter because it's outer space theme. So um, if you do the bands, then you get more of the effect of the outer space or the galaxy. And then I kind of throw some on the bottom. Oops. And then you can sprinkle some throughout the tumbler. And like I said, with the alcohol inks, um, you can get very creative with this. Sometimes I put hollow silver glitter. If you're using more than one color, you can put um, uh, you can put anything you want on it. Uh, this customer wanted green glitter with purple. So um, if you wanted the purple to match, obviously you can do um, purple uh, purple glitter. So just kind of have fun with it can never have too much glitter and then once this is uh, finished with the glitter I go ahead and I let this spin on the tumbler for about six hours I know some epoxies dry uh, differently so um, please use discretion uh, make sure you uh, whatever you apply your decal um, if you're not applying a decal what I would do is I would let this dry um, for about six to eight hours and then apply another coat of epoxy over because you're going to feel the little glitter on here. Um, if you are applying a decal, I always wait 24 hours before applying a decal because if you apply a decal and you don't like it and the epoxy is not cured for at least 24 hours, you take off that decal, it might rip up, uh, rip off that, um, that tumbler or that epoxy right off with that decal. So do keep that in mind. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions or recommendations, please go ahead and leave a comment on the comments below. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give you a close up after this. So uh, thanks again for watching and I'll see y'all next time.